Okay, let's move to the to the actual conference. So, what what is this about? The the idea here is to um, is to explore the future of payments. In this really to ask ourselves, well, in in a world of social media, internet, uh, uh, <coughs> mobile devices, and the like, where do we go? Uh, we have a number of very well established uh, payment systems in different uh, forms. Um, which, of course, are going to adapt themselves with new forms of payments, and where is all, all of that going to, to lead? Um, I must say that we are very pleased to have a number of experts, really people with a lot of big experience, which are going to share that with us today. Um, and I will introduce Chris, Chris Skinner, who is the chairman of the Finance Services Club. So Chris is best known as an independent commenter yeah, on the financial markets through his blog, which is called, I found it a strange name, I was wondering whether it's German or something like that, but it's, uh, it's called the, finance, the Financer, from, coming from the financial services, as, uh, as I understand well. So uh, I had a discussion with, uh, with Chris just before the, we started here, and the Financial Services Club is a network of financial professionals, very interesting which is focusing on the future of financial services uh, through the delivery of research and debate. So I think that Chris is extremely well placed to moderate the debate today and to introduce our guest speakers. So Chris. Thank you, Eve, and good evening. Good evening. There is life in Brussels, it's good to know. Um, thank you for inviting me and uh, it's good to be here. I'm going to just introduce the session, and I'm going to be unusually for me incredibly neutral and objective. Uh, if you read my blog, you'll find that I'm incredibly subjective and provocative. Uh, I will not be that tonight, uh, which might be disappointing for those who read the blog. But uh, the reason being is that we're going to have a debate. And when Hans and the organizers of Transcom tonight said to me, we want to have a debate, uh, I immediately interpret that as being a Oxford-style debate. And you may not be familiar with the Oxford Star debate, uh, or if you are, then I'm very pleased. But the Oxford Star debate is a very traditional form going back many centuries in Britain of having two opposing views c come together, argue, and at the end of it, come to some form of view. And the view will be your view. So we're going to talk about the future of payments. And um, basically, we're going to argue about the future of payments being something that will be an evolution of everything we have today that progresses along the tracks that we know and are familiar with, that will continue to be using the banking infrastructures, the SWIFTs of this world, the Euroclears of this world, and that we just evolve into a future that is something probably very different, but very familiar to what we have today, because it will be using a lot of the stuff that we already have today. If you think about the things that are revolutionary, you might say Square or PayPal or Google. And the fact that, for example, Google announced just in the last day that you can transact via Gmail a payment person to person anywhere in the world for free. If you didn't see that, that was announced yesterday. If you didn't see today, PayPal announced that in America you can send a payment person to person from a mobile telephone to anybody in America, person to person, for free. No charge. But behind PayPal and Google is the traditional infrastructure of transaction networking and processing of the banking system of the chips, Fedwire, Swifts of this world. So the guys didn't know it until they turned up tonight, but I said, we're going to have the Oxford Star debate, where we'll have two people who propose that everything will stay pretty much familiar and just evolve into a future that's different but uses a lot of the stuff that we already have today. And then we'll have two guys who will argue completely against that and say, you're talking rubbish, just to create some argument. Uh, they're going to play these roles not because they necessarily believe these roles, but because I've told them that they have to play these parts. And then I would like you to ask questions, engage, debate, dialogue. And at the end of this, we'll have a vote. But at the start of this, we should have a vote, because I'd like to just find out what the views are in this room before our speakers speak. Do you think 
that everything will stay pretty much familiar and the same, or that the future of payments is radical and different. So can you raise your hand if you think it's going to be pretty much familiar and the same as it is today? I can see about four. Can you raise your hand if you think it's going to be completely different and radically unknown? Okay. So most people think it's going to be completely different. I think you have a job on your hands, Thierry. Thierry is going to start the debate.